In this video, I am performing a benchmark test for the flagship mobiles out there. It's all about 2.26 minutes video. Please watch fully. The first mobile is MI Note 12 Pro Plus 5G which is Diamond's T1080. So here the testing of this Note 12 Pro is too fast because it runs on R10 to light version. Remaining all using the 3D benchmark uh, full versions. The second one is Google Pixel 7J and third one is IQ 9SC and the fourth one is IQ 11 which runs on Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 and IQ 9SC runs on Snapdragon 888 uh, yeah, and uh, Google Tensor chipset the Pixel 7J one which is 3.1 but uh, in this video so after results Pixel 7J shows 2.x UFX storage like that so technically Google just banned all benchmark tests on Play Store even they don't allow or rely on benchmark test as a performance stuff to determine the mobiles as I said. So the benchmark score for the MI Note 12 Pro Plus 5G is 525K and uh, remaining are still running on its and uh, IQ 12 just completed it's about 1.2 million score which is quite awesome for agent 2 and uh, iq 9 se is all about uh, 0 0.9 million score and uh, pixel 7 is still running the test here you can see the benchmark scores for the mining mobiles pixel 7 is too slow when compared to iq 9 sc and uh, 11 here you can see the pixel 7j is about 0 0.7 million score so these are the scores of the cpu memory and uh, stuff you can see in this video hope you can compare them so if you want to buy a mobile please check the processors and ufs storage the most important thing is ufs storage which determine the speeds of your mobile and performance alongside the CPU.